Hey, what's going on guys? It's TZOG Productions back again with a update. Um, I know it's been a while and uh, things aren't going as fast as I thought they would. Uh, basically uh, living on a college budget <laughs> uh, kind of limits how fast you can build a tank like this. Um, but nonetheless, things are coming along little by little. And surely enough, they will be uh, coming on, coming along real good. Um, got an update for you guys. A uh, couple new things. I got some hardware and I got some livestock going on here in the tank. Uh, first off, I guess I'll show you the hardware. Um, so I got a digital thermometer over here. And it's reading 88.5 right now I have my uh, heater in the corner over there at between 78 and 80 degrees so one of the two are malfunctioning I'm not sure uh, I think if it was this is accurate temperature I think my fish would be having a hard time so but they look to be doing good, so I'm not sure. I'm pre oh, I'm pretty sure that it might just be the thermometer that's broken. I'm gonna have to take it back and uh, have it replaced. But if you guys have any uh, similar uh, similar experiences with this, uh, please let me know what's going on, and uh, I'll really appreciate that. Uh, second, the uh, this is a major hardware update. I have a light fixture finally after so so long this is basically a, a bootleg light fixture that I've done myself or with the help of my brother uh, basically this shell right here I found it in the garage and uh, had a T8 fixture in it so went ahead and took that out the T8 out and gutted it out and just had the empty shell right here uh, went to Home Depot, bought a two lamp T5 fixture, and uh, when me and my brother wired it all up, we found out that it wasn't the the ballast wasn't powerful enough to power up the two uh, 24 watt lamps. So we had to gut out the ballast and put in a more powerful ballast, and uh, nonetheless, that that bigger ballast powers up everything a lot better um, and then I just added a couple little 90 degree brackets right there on the corners at first I had the two small ones right here I mean the four on each corner but it came up too short and it sits on my rim so I went ahead and bought another one it goes over so I got one sitting on the rim and one hanging over the rim over the lip to kind of hold it right there um, it's lets the light bleed out a little bit more but it's a added security that the lamp isn't going to fall or move or anything so I don't mind too much um, other than that I'm pretty sure I've, I've already showed you guys my hermit crabs so let's get to the other interesting guy right back up there I know the lighting is kind of bad right now. It's the morning, so and I don't want to turn on my light. <laughs> um, I got a yellow tang. So basically, my birthday was on Sunday. They just passed, and uh, this is my little birthday gift because I've been wanting this guy for so long. Um, he's real small. He's about two inches big and I know he's gonna outgrow this tank real fast so uh, here in a couple months maybe a month or two when it starts looking like he needs more space I'll go ahead and I'll take him over to my brother's tank he's starting to set up a 55 gallon tank and by that time it should be all cycled and ready to go and maybe I'll trade him off for something maybe for some corals or something but I really love this guy. Uh, ever since I've seen a yellow tang, I've fell in love with them. They're awesome. They swim around. They're 
they're not hiding all the time. Well, he's hiding a little bit right now because just barely added him last night. But, uh, I mean, even even while he's sticking to the corner right there, you can still see him. He's swimming around, and they have a real good character. Um, they get a, He gets along with my clowns real good. I haven't seen them bite or nip at each other or kind of attack each other or nothing. Uh, especially the other way around. I haven't seen the clowns try to uh, attack him because over there in that corner behind that heater that's kind of the clown's territory and uh, when I added him in he went straight over there I guess to hide or maybe he wants to be a little bit warmer by the heater and uh, kind of took over their territory over there which uh, I don't mind too much because 90% of the time the clownfish will be back there just hiding and uh, I wouldn't be able to enjoy their colors as much because they'll be back there hiding behind the rock so kind of pushed them out here so they can swim around and I can see them more um, but yeah like I said kind of took over their territory and uh, in the nighttime I turned on the light for a couple seconds just to make sure uh, they were all doing good and usually the clowns sleep back there in the corner and I seen him back there in the corner sleeping and the clowns right here in this corner sleeping you can see how they kind of dug out the uh, sand but uh, I guess they're doing okay for now um, other than that I am getting a little bit of uh, I guess sulfur bubbles or some kind of bubbles right here in the sand I'm not sure if you can see very good but uh I'm not too sure if I should mess with the sand right there to release them or if I should just let it be to release all those bubbles or just let it be because uh if I release them it might go dissolve into the water or maybe it might go to the top I'm not sure if you guys could uh leave me a comment and let me know what what I should do um, I don't have any snails in here yet. That's gonna be my next uh, my next add-in, and uh, they'll do real good on cleaning up. I see these rocks; they have a little bit of, uh, I guess, algae growing. I'm not too sure. I got a little bit of stuff growing on the walls of the on the glass. A little bit of this brown stuff over there too. So I'm pretty sure snails will clean that up. But uh, if you guys could leave, leave me a suggestion in the bottom about what to do about these little bubbles right here in the sand. Uh, should I just leave them alone? Should I, should I agitate the sand to release them or what? Um, I'll greatly appreciate that. Um, other than that, let me give you guys a little look into how the, the tank looks with the lights on so give me one second while I turn this on uh oh drop this stuff all over the place alright there we go that looks much better So you can see the uh, colors pop out real good. Um, it's a little bit dark on that side of the tank over there by the fish because the way that the light fixtures are set up. You can kind of see. I oh, can't even see. But this is a two and a half foot uh, fixture. And inside is a two foot lamp. I mean two and a half foot shell and inside is a two foot fixture so it goes basically from right here down that way so from there to the left is a little bit of darkness um, sorry this is coming out to be a long video but just want to let you guys know what's been going on since I haven't made an update in a while but you can kind of see 
the fish is over there in the corner getting along very good they're not they're not biting at each other or anything and uh, the colors in person come out pop out just a little bit more than what you're seeing on camera but looks real good um, that's about it for now I guess uh, whenever I add uh, anything else I'll go ahead and give you guys an update next thing I should be adding in is corals not too many I'm thinking maybe a zoa a couple zoas or uh, maybe a flat brain or something um, that's about it uh, please subscribe if you want to keep up up to date with these videos and uh, any questions comments concerns just leave them in the section below and uh, be sure to leave me a suggestion about what to do with these little pockets of gases that are in my in my uh, sand bed all right guys see you next time